Hey traders, good afternoon. It is Friday afternoon and uh, I decided that I was going to do a quick video on this weekend's events with the G20. Obviously everybody has an opinion on what could happen and um, so I'm also going to give you my, my opinion. Now, listen, I just wanted to talk a little bit about strategy and positioning going into the weekend, <clears throat> a little bit about the technicals, and um, I'll start with today's option activity because I do think that that's interesting too. Um, it does look like people are actually putting some money to work. Uh, I see you know, a decent amount of option blocks today. Um, we just saw a little bit that went up here in Texas Instruments. Um, I'll just bring this up in, um, in Trade Alert because it's, it's a little bit quicker for me to do. But um, there's just a block. Well, I'll start with FTC. There's a block of FTC that just went up. It's a nice size trade. That is a million dollar trade. So somebody's going long FTC March 19 calls. Uh, we just saw some Texas Instrument calls go up. So, you know, maybe people are kind of shrugging this off a little bit. You know, nice 3,000 share block that went up. That is versus open interest. It's a little bit more than open interest. So I'll have to check that one out on Monday to see if it goes up over uh, over in open interest. T TJX had a nice call buyer. So we don't get these every day. So it's kind of interesting to see all these kind of... No, now, option activity has picked up, to be fair, this week. We have seen a, a bigger... Uh, call presence you know we've seen uh, a lot more call buying this week than i think we've seen the last couple weeks to be perfectly fair but but uh i'm surprised at the amount of of option activity today so tjx i think they're they're up to eleven thousand in these uh the january 50 calls um i missed up the strike earlier with this between tpr which is another uh this is uh uh the handbag maker TPR. <laughs> These are January 40s. The TJX was January 50s. So you have your choice in this too. I'm not going to review all these charts now because I want to keep this video kind of short. But um, you know, basically what I'm trying to illustrate is that call buyers are are um, present today. Uh, people are taking risk. It, it appears. Um, CTXS, which we saw calls in this one the other day. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I looked at the chart in this one the other day, but uh, there are March 5,000 March 120 calls that are going up in this one. This one I will bring up the chart I, because I actually kind of like it. Um, <clears throat> CTSX was something that I was looking at months ago. It was coiled and unfortunately it went down. It, it is actually down 1.7% today. What's happening now? There's another headline. So uh, Chinese officials says trade talks uh, with U.S. Let's see. Let's see what they got. Still see some disagreements. Uh, still see some some disagreements, uh, Chinese officials says. So again, back and forth stuff going on. Yeah, CTSX was nice and coiled back here. Um, declined pretty decently in the October sell-off. Rebounded and is basically back to where it is. It's backing off from here. So um, <clears throat> I just wanted to provide a little bit of a glimpse of what we're seeing today in option flow because I think that's constructive that people are putting a little bit money uh, a little bit of money together put together so listen I, I don't know of course nobody knows what's going to happen this weekend but the best that we could do is kind of prepare for it so I will give you my stance on what I think we've been kind of talking about it all week long um, but um, <clears throat> you know I think it's, it's also important to kind of look after this weekend you know what your plan is as well so um, I've had a really good week, and I would rather be a little bit more, uh, again, this is what I've been talking about all week long, but I am, you know, if you've seen me in the room, I've been taking off some positions, even if they're for like, you know, scratches on a couple of names that I started earlier this week, you know, uh, because I just want to be a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit more lean and mean, especially in options, right, because options are very, very sensitive, Right, so there are there is going to be a couple of trades that I'm going to uh, send out that um, I think you know are going to be very binary in nature. You know, mean, meaning either you win or you lose, depending on what you decide to take. Uh, so I will have a couple of ideas like that in the the XLI Industrials ETF, um, FXI KWeb. Um, this is actually what I sent out. Uh, you know, in the weekend newsletter, but I still think that those names are going to move from, from a binary standpoint. So there's plenty of ideas. You know, there's another name that we saw yesterday trade, which has been a beaten up <clears throat> application software name, I believe, in China called Hua. 
it's a seventeen dollar stock you know they purchased some some calls right around uh, at the money calls yesterday for about 90 cents again just a week out right so obviously i would think that they that they would be putting them on because of you know the type of china deal this is a pretty beaten up name i would think if something happens uh, pleasantly, the name will uh, should kick up a bit. So you know, there's little things like that that you could do that are going to again just be strictly binary. So let's talk about the rest of the market for a minute because you know there's there's probably three different scenarios, uh, maybe a little bit more than three, but three that you could kind of look at. One, they managed to put some type of trade deal together, which I think um, the probability is probably pretty low. Um, they could also walk away completely and say we've got too many, <clears throat> too many um, disagreements. And Trump says I'm going to slap on more tariffs. So that's possibility number two. And I think possibility three is what I think most people are kind of in the camp right now of, hey, you know, we're making some headway. Maybe we pause on the on the future tariffs. We keep the ones in place and we continue to kind of work on trade trade agreements. That's probably. Um, uh, where I'm in the camp of. So what happens to the market after that, if you're going to go with that third scenario? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you may not get a huge, you may not get a huge move if that's in the cards. Uh, if they to say, if they say that that's going to happen. Would I want to have probably a little bit of a trade in place in case um, something pod they managed to do something you know I would like to be a little bit optimistic yeah something where I probably won't risk a lot of money but a binary trade sure that makes sense but um, you know looking at where we are in the charts I think we're at a pretty interesting decision point we've had a nice swing up at this point and we're kind of coming into resistance I think it's a great place to kind of just you know back off a little bit and, and reassess um, and that's kind of what I'm going to be doing uh, and what I have been doing. So I've trimmed down my portfolio. I still have some things on like some healthcare exposure. Um, I like the charts here. And, <clears throat> you know, this is where I think you could be a little bit positive too ab ab about the overall market here. You know, for a while, um, I, I'll, I will tell you for a while that, um, you know, I got very, very much into muscle memory looking at growth names. So if you look at some of the relationships going on right now, now, again, this is something that we've been talking about for months, but, um, you know, for a while, uh, for the last month or so, value has broken out. Um, it has come back because obviously growth picked up a little bit. You know, we saw that after the Powell testimony or the Powell speech. But still, if you look at a five-year chart, I still think value uh, is starting to outperform here. You know, you might actually see, what, a golden cross here in value versus uh, value versus growth. Uh, again, these, these are two large cap ETFs, IWD in the numerator, IWF in the denominator. So this is uh, exciting to me because, you know, I think there's a lot more opportunities out there. Out just, and it doesn't, you don't have to be all in growth names. I mean, so that's XLV, I think is looking very constructive. Um, full disclosure, I'm long XLV. I'm also long Pfizer. But I see a lot of these names continuing to move up. Pfizer working out very well, by the way. The trade that we added, um, uh, trade that I added yesterday and been, you know, basically been watching for the last week or so <clears throat> with Pfizer. But also, if you look outside of healthcare, so obviously healthcare is a group that I like. Um, but also look at utilities. Nothing wrong with utilities. You could play this in options too. And in fact, they're pretty cheap options. But I think XLU is trying to, after it took out this version point of control, is trying to get back over it. Um, and there's a number of names too in the consumer staples. You know, Pepsi is a name that we've been talking about. Pepsi looks like it wants to go higher here as well. So uh, is it just today that this is happening? Uh, there is a momentum rebalance. There's there's this MTUM. I don't know if if these names are going into that that uh, ETF. That's why there's why it could be a reason why these are so well well bid today. But I think there's just something else going on here. And there's a there's a reason why if they are putting these names into the MTUM ETF for today's rebalance, there's a reason why they're adding them into a momentum, uh, you know, in, into um, the momentum ETF. So. Besides, if we, once we get past this weekend, um, the next thing that could happen is a government shutdown on December 7th. We just want to be aware of these things that are on the calendar. Uh, you know, they have to uh, come up with a budget deal. So that's going to be the next thing. So, I, you know, this problem, I don't think, you know, going back to like those three, the most probable th 
three scenarios that we get. If it's scenario number two, you know, the, the trade talks aren't going to go away. Um, if it's scenario number two, it's going to be in the headlines. So, you know, I try to look past this weekend. I know everybody and, and we're kind of hypnotized. We've been, I don't want to say maybe hypnotized is not the right word, but we just, we're getting just different trade headlines every couple of hours. And it's a different and difficult environment to, it's a difficult environment to trade in when you've got these headlines going on and the, and the market is very herky jerky. But, um, I think there are some some decent trends going out going on, and then you know what we've seen in you know which gives me also a sense of optimism uh, right now is you know what's going on in the uh, the software space right so the application enterprise software names we've had some really good earnings this week uh, Splunk Workday Salesforce these guys all came out and had good numbers so <clears throat> that that makes me optimistic uh, in terms of uh, the numbers and, and the beating guidance and raising guidance and so forth. Um, I think that's that's pretty good. So so again, um, you know, that's my overall view. I am, uh, you know, I would say optimistic ab about the market going forward. But um, looking at you know that there's that there's different groups and and different things that are participating. But, um, you know, I do want to recognize where there is resistance. You know, maybe, you know, one scenario for next week that I'm putting on the table is, sure, it would be great if this launches the queues or, you know, I could look at IWM as well to see if this launches above this downtrend line and maybe comes to the 200-day moving average. That's a scenario. A scenario also is that we stall out a little bit and, you know, put in another, you know, this this is a lower high so far. Uh, so, you know, we could digest a little bit you know, and then can make a move higher too. So these are all things that want to be prepared for. Um, my view on some of those trades, that, some of those big block option trades that I talked about a few minutes ago, you know, you have plenty of time to get into these trades. You don't uh, have to rush into them, in my opinion. And again, of course, this video is for information purposes only. I'm not giving out any advice. But, um, you know, some of the best trades that I've gotten into with options is when I actually get in cheaper. So, I mentioned a trade yesterday in ADSK. Oh, come on, Thinkorswim, right? It was Autodesk, I believe. And I believe that you could, you could get into that trade for cheaper today. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see, ADSK. Yeah, AD, so just like I said, right? Big block of, nice block of, I think it was April calls in, in Autodesk yesterday. The stock's down 1.8%. So, um, you know, if you're if you've got some patience now, of course, you could have started a position yesterday in, in Autodesk, but um, it just goes to show you that you don't have to jump into when we see, uh, you know, calls like that go up. Um, you can you can wait if you want to play them for day trades. Of course, you could do that. Right. But uh, yeah, they were April 160 calls that went up yesterday uh, so you could be you know a bit savvy with some of these orders and say hey I'm not gonna chase just because you know there's green and everybody's talking about the order same thing in today in, in TJX which is an order that I like All right what is this thing up it's up 2.9 percent you know you could wait you know we talked about this yesterday in Home Depot too right Home Depot which was up, which is up 1.6 percent yesterday but you know what I said I didn't want to chase on this day you had an inside day yesterday that was the place to kind of add um, so that said uh, you know I will send out a couple ideas for binary uh, trades for this weekend but um, overall my positioning is light and um, I, I'm not rushed uh, you know into uh, you know, taking any any, any trades uh, today, and, and I would rather be slim and fit going into the weekend and uh, and ready to go for next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.